Welcome to another video by yours truly, Sahil Bora. In this video today, we're going to be discussing the common interview question that, that gets asked a lot, which is the fizz buzz question. I recently read on, on, on an article on codinghurry.com where 200 people were given this question and 199 of them couldn't even answer this question. I found that really astonishing. This is, a, this is a basic question which an intermediate and experienced programmers should be able to answer. So, so today I'm going to be showing you the solution step by step of how to answer this question. Now firstly, what is the question asking? The question goes, write a program that prints the numbers from 1 to 100, but for multiples of 3, print fizz instead of the number, and for, for the multiples of 5, print buzz. For numbers which are multiples of both 3 and 5, print fizz buzz. Okay, so how do, we, how, do we, how do we start off with this question? So what it's saying is, we print from, we start with, with, the, with the for loop. So we start, with, we start with printing from 1 to 100. So what do we do for that? We use a for loop for that. So we, we start with 4 int i is equal to 1. And then it says it goes. It's, it's, it's saying to go from one to hundred. So we need to start from one. So then we need to print to one hundred and one. So we firstly we start off with the for loop. We start off at one, and then we go to one hundred and one, and then we print out those numbers. Easy enough. But then here's the trick of what programmers don't know. Programmers don't haven't really had experience with the, with the modulus operator. So that's, so that's our next step, because the modulus operator finds what is divisible in, 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 a, in a number. So that's, so that's what we need next. So the question says, if it's either 3 or 5, print fizz buzz. So in the next line, what we're going to have is that we're going to have an if statement. So in this if statement, what we have is, if modulus is equal to 3, so, no, no, sorry. If, if the modulus is 3 and it's equal to 0 and it's equal, and it's equal to 5 equals 0, in that, in that same line, print fizzbuzz. That's it. Because, because the question asked is if it's multiples 3 and 5, print fizzbuzz. Else if, if if, if i is equal, if, mo, if i's modulus 3 is equal to 0, print fizz for 3. Else if, if i modulus 5 equals to 0, print buzz. Else if, none of those match, print out the rest of those numbers. There you go. That's, that's, the, that's the solution to the problem, step by step. So, I can understand sometimes how programmers can't solve this problem because they haven't had much experience with the modulus operator. But if you just play around with the modulus operator and you get an understanding of step by step of how to solve this problem, the next time you get asked this question in an interview or a test, you should be able to answer this question in a, in a, matter, in a matter of minutes. So there you go guys, that's how to solve the FizzBuzz problem. And if you have any further questions, please feel free to comment down below. And I'll be more than happy to answer any questions you might have. This is Sahil Bora reporting out. I hope you guys enjoyed my latest video. As you know, I'm always giving you something new. But what I'd like for you to do is that I would like for you to click on the link below and sign up for my free report on the five major tips to shorten and accelerate your learning curve in a matter of months. This free report is the report that I wish I had when I first started learning programming back in 2009 and it would have saved me all the time and frustration it took me to start understanding programming. It's yours completely for free and just scroll down below, click on the link and just sign up for the free report today.